Hey guys, uh, Christopher here, and welcome to day seven of Pixel Dailies. And I'll just fix my mic. There we go. Um, and today's theme is uh, spacewalk. And um, yeah, so let's get stuck in that. Uh, we'll stick the same size. Screen. Okay. So for those of you who don't, don't, don't know, uh, spacewalk is when an astronaut leaves his vehicle, his or her vehicle. So uh, it's basically when they leave the space station and then go out and basically do repairs or maintenance or check things and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Essentially, that's what all those astronauts are doing when you see them in um, pictures and you can see the Earth behind them and stuff like that. They were on a spacewalk right then. Okay, that's a pretty good distribution. So let's go here. Um, I'm going to have to do my silhouette in white because I've got a black background, obviously. Leaving myself some room here for a nice big helmet. That's pretty good. So, um, I had a bit of a break over the weekend and did normal life things away from the computer, which is good every now and then. Has its moments. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I've got a few to catch up on, so don't be surprised when you see a few of these come out today. So, I'll try and catch up. If I get all the way, I might. Um, if not, I'll be back tomorrow and try and finish off catching up then. So, okay. I might actually give this guy some feet today. Okay, so he's looking terrible. So arms way out of proportion. Let's fix that one first. A little bit long now. That looks better. Okay. That's not too bad. Shape's getting better. Uh, not liking his pose so much. He needs something. He needs to be doing something a bit better. He's just kind of staying there awkwardly. Okay, might even have like his line that he's tied onto just here. Not too bad. Maybe we'll put like a ship there or something. Yeah, that's a bit more of an interesting dimension to it, I think. Okay. Alright, so let's get in and start filling him in, otherwise we'll never finish. Um, so astronaut suits are pretty much almost entirely white. I'm not sure why that is, but if I had to guess, I would say it's so they can see them against the outline of space the easiest. Could be completely wrong, but that's my guess. Okay, so... You might even be able to start a new lay here, if you get time. We'll put maybe the earth there. There we go. That'll add a nice sort of 
some interest to the image. Um, I'm going to just grab a blue to separate that from the rest. Okay, that's cool. All right, so uh, oh, we did our stars on the same layer. That's very silly, but I believe we're fine for now. So basic shading, um, it's putting a lot of this in here. I think I'm probably going to go darker from this one. Um, so I'll put like quite a bit of this shading in here. Some of that white back in there. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, he's definitely got more of a shape to him now. Um, let's get gold in there. Okay, so I've got to do a shape. I also think I might do this line gold as well, just to separate it from the rest. Okay, so basic shape is in there. Um, hmm. So looking at the sort of gold that they've used, it's very shiny. Obviously, my reference image is off to the side. Um, yeah, it's all very shiny. Because it would be like very untainted gold made fresh for the equipment, so it would be super shiny. Um, go up here. Okay, that kind of rounds it off nicely. Now it needs some shininess going through there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. This maybe goes a little bit too dark here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so this part, actually, let's just quickly add this to the line as well. Highlights there. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so let's get the darker area of this blue in. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now he's missing some detail on his chest. They all seem to have various packs and things that they would put their equipment in on their chest, so I definitely need to capture some of that. Um, uh, what else we got here? Put back across there. There we go. It's starting to look like there's more to this suit already, so that looks much better. 
Um, separate that. And we'll put this through here so we can see that they're gloves. Give their arms a bit more definition. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go here and I'm also going to go down and get a much wider white. Use that to really highlight these edges. Help give them a bit more shape. Okay, so it's got a bit more dimension now, it looks good. Alright, so um I put this on the same layer, so let's just work with that. Uh, just create the impression that there's a ship here, so give it some paneling and stuff like that. Some rivets. Okay, um, alright, so let's go here, we need a much deeper blue, to sort of put through this, uh, just share this, okay, let's go like this, do the edges as well. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, all right, and then we want to go here and get a nice, really bright sort of color. And this will be the clouds. It's pretty interesting looking at uh, weather patterns from space because you can see how the how the Earth uh, or how weather twists and turns and it's always spinning in circles and whatnot. Uh, and when you see these amazing space shots, you can definitely see all that overall how everything's moving. This definitely needs a deeper blue in here. These patches are too large. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, these panels definitely need some highlighting of some sort. All very boring at this point. Um, if I had a bit more time, I'd put a lot more work in this front of this spaceship. Um, it's very quick. Uh, we're already at 13 minutes, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. Just enough that so that it doesn't stand out as being extremely boring. Um, all your objects, you know, should have some sort of relative amount of detail unless you want them to be out of focus or not the focal point of the image and whatnot. So there should be a reason why you leave details out of stuff. Okay, I think we need one more. Put these over here. Okay. Alright, looking pretty good. Alright, cool. So um, I think that's done for now. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.